All right, guys, it is March 7th, 2021 at 9.45 a.m. I'm going to go get my um, Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine. I'm dri driving two hours to Port Arthur, Texas. Let's go see how it goes. <laughs> Zips Liquor Store. No relation. We are in Dayton, Texas. Uh, go, we still have 60 miles to go. Uh, this is uh, just a small town on the way. We'll be coming up to uh, Liberty, Texas in six miles. Um, I went there for a ghost hunt a few years ago uh, before I was doing this uh, me heavy metal travel show. You might be wondering, Rob, why the hell are you going all the way to Port Arthur to get your vaccine? So, oh, that's a cool uh, sign for Dayton with the flag. That's very cool. Um, you might be wondering why I'm going all the way to Port Arthur to get my vaccine. So, my friend Vicky sent me the link um, Friday morning to CVS and said, Hey, they're doing the Johnson & Johnson vaccines. You have to sign up and get on a list. So... She knows that um, she does travel packages as well. Um, she's a teacher. And hopefully one day I'll be able to uh, go on a, a tour with uh, her travel company. That would be very sweet. I just, she plans them like years ahead of time. And I have absolutely no idea what my life is going to be in six months from now, let alone two or three years from now. Anyway, so... I got on the uh, CVS website and it's like, okay, you, you have to wait. It can be 15 minutes, it could be over an hour. So an hour later, it says, all right, you're in. Go ahead and give us all your information. And I was actually driving to work Friday morning doing this very unsafe, um, a lot less safe than what I'm doing now. I'm talking to you on my phone, but I'm still watching the road. I'm actually, if you can tell, my eyes are not looking at the camera, I'm looking at the road. Anyway, so I was typing in this stuff as I was driving on the freeway, going to work. Again, do not recommend that. Very unsafe. But I felt like that was my opportunity. I had to take it. And it asked you to put in your zip code or a city state. I put in my zip code. There was nothing. I put in Houston. There was nothing. I put in Galveston. And then there was something like, like Wednesday or Thursday. And I have to work. So I was like, okay, well, I'll put in Beaumont. I put in Beaumont and it told me, all right, well, we have openings in Port Arthur on Sunday. And I was like, okay, that, that'll work. I'm off on Sunday. And that's the, uh, the soonest available time I could go anyway. So I made the reservation. I could have done it at 12, two or three or something like that. So I picked 12, I picked the, the first, the first available time. So that's why I am driving to Port Arthur, Texas. I'm going to a CVS, inside a Target, inside a mall. So that's my story of why I'm doing this. Uh, and you know, why am I doing this? They say when you um, are able to get the vaccine as soon as you're able to, uh, which uh, what, whether it be the Pfizer, the Moderna, Moderna or the Johnson & Johnson, or whatever ones uh, come out later. So um, that's why I'm going with the Johnson & Johnson. It's a one and done. If uh, if this was the Pfizer and I had to come out to Bo Port Arthur twice, I might rethink it. But since this is a one-time a one-time deal, um, and, and then they say, well, the Johnson & Johnson one isn't as effective. Okay, now we're, we're in Liberty. I want to show you these bridges. All right, guys. So we're driving into Liberty, Texas. Actually, we're in Liberty, Texas now. These cool railroad rail, railroad bridges. Here's the here's the river, the creek. See, they're doing some construction over here. 
speed limit is lower. You got to watch out for motorcycles. There's a lot of motorcycles out. It's it's Sunday morning. A lot of a lot of motorcycles on the road today. The speed limit slowing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll continue my story after after this. All right, I'm going to continue my story as uh, I show you beautiful Liberty, Texas. So much to see here. El Tiempo Fajitas. That sounds good. I'm hungry. Anyway, so why am I getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and not the Pfizer or the Moderna vaccine? Um, like I said, they have told us that you need to get your vaccine. The first one you you are... The first one that you can be put on a list to get, get. All right? And so I'm driving by CVS right there, and obviously I'm driving past that one. So Beaumont's 43 miles. Actually, I have to go beyond Beaumont. I'm going to Port Arthur, so I'm going 54 miles left for that trip. Um, so I got put on the list. They they released, I think, a million of the Johnson Johnson vaccines to Texas. So that's why I'm going for it. There's, there's a larger supply. Uh, Merck is going to help Johnson & Johnson pr produce their vaccine. And they say that... Um, it's less effective than the Pfizer or the Moderna, va Moderna vaccines. But what it, what, it, what it comes down to is the efficacy rate is, yes, it is lower. So what that means is I still have about a 20% chance of uh, still getting the, corona the coronavirus if I uh, get in contact with it. However, the chance of me getting sick enough to go to the hospital or die is almost 0% after I get the vaccine. From all the testing they've done so far, and they'll have a lot more um, information after, after all of these vaccines are, are given out. But from all the information given so far, no one that has gotten any of the vaccines has gotten sick enough to where they needed to go to the hospital, let alone die. So um, that's the most important thing to me. I've been lucky in this past year to not get the coronavirus. Unfortunately, my uncle succumbed to it and I had several friends that had it um, and that came close to dying. Um, and we don't know what the long-term health effects are going to be for them. So hopefully it's minimal, but some people are having some vascular problems, some vascular problems, some respiratory problems, and they'll have that for the rest of their lives. And it may shorten their lives. And that's, that's tragic. And, I, and I'm, I feel very bad for my friends and family that have gone through that. Um, and anyone that you know that might have gone through that, it's terrible. But, ooh, historical marker. There's my ADD. There's a the historical marker. Anyway, so so with that, with that being said, um, I felt it was very important for me to take advantage of this opportunity to come get the vaccine today. That's why I'm driving to Port Arthur. Um, I don't know why people in Port Arthur didn't sign up for the list. Maybe they didn't know about it, but um, I'm going. I'm going to get the vaccine. It's a one and done, which is awesome. And again, this isn't a 100% pr protection against coronavirus. It's an 80% protection, but it's basically a 100% protection against me going to the hospital or dying. And that that's what matters the most. So... If you can, get on a list, get any of the vaccines you can. I urge you all to please do it. I know there are some people that are anti-vaccine in my life that I know, and I don't understand how they've lived this long, honestly. Um, but if it's not against your moral judgment to become, become vaccinated, please get it done. It, we want shows to come back. I, this is a heavy metal travel show, man. Um, I'm wearing a Dropkick Murphy shirt. They're not really heavy metal, but they are they are scheduled to play Vodka in Open Air in 2021. I'm not even sure if that's going to happen. But if enough people in Germany get the vaccine 
I, I'll have my vaccine, I'll have a card, hopefully I'll be able to go to Germany this summer and show you some great, awesome times there. Um, if you haven't, you can look at my videos from two years ago. I'm gonna make be better videos. I I've, I've made so many connections since then. I should be able to uh, get more band interviews at Wacken. So it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a good time. Hopefully it happens. I know they've already canceled a lot of shows. They canceled Hellfest in France. They canceled stuff in, in the UK. Um, but there's still a chance that that can happen. There's still a chance Brutal Assault in Czech Republic will happen. Um, I mean, if not, there's Slam Dakota and Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I went to that last year. That's going to happen again this year. Uh, Les has already announced some of the bands, and I'm getting in contact with some of them to, to interview them for my show. Um, I'm going to be sponsoring. Hopefully, I'll get the time off approved, but uh, I plan to sponsor um, a, can a cannibal cookout uh, show in Galesburg, Illinois, April 24th. Fourth, I believe April 23rd, April 24th. So if you're in the Illinois, Iowa area, you know, come down to Galesburg. It's going to be a fun time. It's going to be in an abandoned steel mill. Steel mill. There we go. Steel mill. So it's going to be a great time. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm going to do some Amtrak traveling. I actually thought about taking a little Amtrak. Um, on the Sunset Limited, the train goes from Houston to Beaumont. I thought about doing that, but I wouldn't have been able to make it here in time. And then I would have to have have to get a ride from Beaumont to Port Arthur. So um, I didn't want to harass a friend into doing that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take some Amtrak trips soon, guys. I'm excited. So all right, that's enough rambling for me. I hope that hope you understand why I'm doing this and um, why I think you should do it. We, we all need to get the vaccine so we can have our lives back. I'm still going to wear my mask. Um, you know, the mask helps with allergies. I get real bad uh, spring allergies. So uh, I'm still going to wear the mask at least through the summer. Uh, just for the allergies, if nothing else. But enough rambling for me. Um, I'll come back if I see something else interesting to show you guys. Uh, or else I'll just see you back when we get to uh, Port Arthur got about 48 uh 48 minutes about 48 miles to, to get there all right i'm at the cbs inside the target inside the central mall in port arthur texas i need to check in for my vaccine hopefully i don't have an issue i don't have my prescription card when i go online and try to pull it up their website is down hopefully they have my information but then when i filled out the form we'll be able to find out all right so they told me um you know, it's a few minutes till noon. My opponent is at noon, but they said they're gonna, they gotta get a couple of people before me. So they said it'd be about 20 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna pick up some Tylenol or Target brand Tylenol. I hear that you need to get that after vaccine. And just kind of walk around the store for a little bit. So we'll see. 24 count of extra strength Tylenol is $3.99. A 50 count of up and up acetaminophen is a dollar 19. Come with the up and up. Okay, it's now 12:25. Oh. Okay, and uh, they're taking me over. I had to walk around the store a little bit, but I'm all checked in. Everything I did online, they didn't ask to see anything here. So let's see. Tree beard. He's the end. Tree beard. Yeah, he's the uh, shepherd of the forest. Okay. Yeah. I get. Uh... For some reason, I haven't started that series, so oh, man, I should probably good. get on that. <laughs> well, if you have like 13 hours, if you, if you want to just watch the movies, yeah. that's, I mean, the books, the books, the books are long. All right. Uh, do you mind if you can turn your body slightly toward yeah, that direction? Sure. What, you whatever go. you need me to do, sir. Oh, perfect. Right. He's trying to relax that shoulder. And this is that Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, I waited my 15 minutes. Got my card filled out. I got my little sticker, and I'm good to go. I'm gonna go meet up a uh, friend for lunch. I'm gonna take some of that Tylenol when I get to the car, and uh, we'll see how I'm feeling in a little bit. I'll do a little update, and uh, then I'll post the video. Okay, guys, so it's three o'clock in the afternoon now. 
I've had the uh, shot for um, a couple hours and I still feel great. I don't feel any soreness. Um, maybe the Tylenol helped, but if you can get the vaccine, please do it as soon as you can so we can go back to living most of our life without these. Please. And uh, until next time, remember, drink water, listen to metal, enjoy nature, and have the most epic adventures.